Well, they lost jobs last month. Now teachers at a local school are about to lose three months of income. In order to pay up, their former bosses say they need donations. Larry Seward explains. Yeah, Mark, Don Bosco Center closed its charter school permanently, forcing teachers and staff to look for new jobs last month. But lingering financial turmoil between the school and state is causing new conflict. Well, maybe it's Retired Sergeant First Class Sigbert Bowyer served 20 years in the Army. Never once did he fire shots in war. His ammunition's reserved for special domestic battles. And education for me seemed as natural as anything else. And I thought I could take those skills and bring them into, into a school environment. He carried them into Kansas City's public schools alternative program until being laid off two years ago. After a year fighting unemployment, opportunity knocked at Don Bosco Charter School. Bowyer taught social studies to students at risk of dropping out. They taught Bowyer an old military lesson. Don't ever be surprised. He wasn't in April when managers who also run social service programs permanently closed the school. Later came shock. I had a phone call today saying that because they've, they don't have the money from DESE, Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, they can't pay us tomorrow and they're not sure when they can pay us. In a statement, a school spokesman says the school learned last month Desi is withholding nearly $200,000 in federal funding. Without those funds, the charter high school cannot pay teacher and staff salaries for June, July, and August. Now management is publicly begging for donations. I think they could have given us more, more information or provided some outreach to us. I mean, as the Don Bosco Center, maybe they could help their their, uh, their former employees. Out of work, out two months income, Bowyer is frustrated, angry, and fighting an enemy he never saw coming. Well, school officials are not sure yet when this issue will be resolved. Staff and teachers like Bowyer hope it's before their savings runs dry. Larry Seward, NBC Action News.